And Listen, you, that's that, that's an important thing for people to realize is that when you do movie, the director has a lot of say. Yeah. And when you do a TV show, the showrunner slash head writer has a lot of say. So it's kind of flipped because like writers and features like will sometimes like just look at their movie and be like, man, that person destroyed my, my vision. <laughs> and uh, same in TV. In TV, a lot of directors come through with like big ideas because, you know, people who tend to be directors have strong opinions. Yep. But in TV... That director's opinion often doesn't mean that much to the head writer. Right. Because the head writer is in charge. The head writer is the person who's there every episode. And most shows don't have the same director every episode. That's a fact. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Have you ever had a director come onto one of your shows? And- no. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry. I cut that. Sh- you were going to say come on our show and try and like take over? Yep. No. And the reason is because on both of our existing shows, Sherman Showcase and Southside, there's essentially one director on Sherman Showcase. This is dude, Matt Piedmont. He, uh, he's a former Saturday Night Live dude. He just comes with a very specific vision of how to pull off. Like, we'll write crazy things on Sherman Showcase. I don't know, you know, who's seen season two, but, like, there's a scene where Bashir Sherman rides off in a helicopter. How do you do that on <laughs> our budget right. when we can't even put the fuel in a helicopter? Right, right, right. You know, he figures out ways to do it, and he'll take the fact that we're a small budget show and work it in on the joke. So without spoiling it, if you watch episode, I think it's three or four of Sherman Showcase season two, when he rides off on that helicopter, we just handle it in a low budget way. Right. But we handle it in a way that makes you laugh. So that's that's kind of how. We're. And on Southside, we got this dude Michael Blyden. We met him when we were on a on a Jimmy Fallon, and you know he's directed almost every episode of Southside. Now I will say, me and Bashir have directed two episodes. Nice. Bashir's uh, brother Ismail, who's a very talented director has directed an episode and this year we had our first female director a woman named uh Brittany boardman she directed an episode so blyden hasn't done every episode of Southside, but he definitely did the pilot he definitely you know found the the look of that show yeah and uh so that's why we haven't we haven't done that show that has sadly we haven't done that show that's gone on for season after season after season and you get to know all these different directors because you know sometimes that director will come in and do such a good job you'll eventually make him or her a executive producer on the show right. i know that happened with um with uh, sally richardson you know mm, she came in and right directed some key episodes of winning time gotcha. and now she's going to be an executive producer part of the 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 writer you know hierarchy so nice. to speak on the new season so you know sometimes they come in and kill it i love i love uh, winning time also man this one that's a question i have for you because i know that sherman showcases on ifc yeah. And Thank you. Thank you for knowing that. Cause <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to get to my question. We don't get a whole yeah. lot of billboards, <laughs> promotion. Like, it's literally just my Instagram page, and every now and then John Legend a chance, the rapper. <laughs> it's just, they're depending on us to promote the show. Well, uh, man, see, I, I know now, you kind of talking to something. I was the star of Rush Hour, the TV series. Okay. And that, yeah. got, that, that got canceled during the commercial break. And, <laughs> and so so I know all about it, uh, not having the promotion that you are expecting or would in like. In the wild, in the wild, you know, like people don't understand. It's, it's one thing to just sell the idea of a show. It's another thing to get them to turn your script into a pilot. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to get them to turn your pilot into a TV series. And then you finally have your show and they put it on the air and nobody may know that it's on the air. That's There's so much TV. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only person. People come up to me all the time and be like, oh, have you heard? Have you seen that new show? You know, uh, Dr. Wilson, you know, like it could be <laughs> right, anything. Right. And you're just like, no, I ain't even heard of it. They're like, oh, it's so good. You know, and unfortunately... You know, some of your work and some of my work doesn't even get seen because they put all the money into making the show, but then they decide, well, the show that we're going to promote is this one show and these other shows. We'll see if they find an audience, and that never works. Exactly, exactly, bro. That's exactly correct. Oh, I know all about it. So, okay, so that's the question. So, Southside is on HBO Max. Yes, which is a much more robust uh, platform. You know, like people know about HBO Max because right. they're either watching insecure or the latest you know dragon series you know like whatever whatever's on hbo max i feel like Southside is is winning because people actually know where to find it easily you know that, and, that was the question i was going to ask which one do you feel like more people are platform just, wise yeah. well here's what's really sad so ifc is just a, a cable channel i mean how many people actually just sit and listen and, and pay for cable yeah now yeah so when it's on ifc the only place you can actually stream it is on amc plus which you know, a lot of people just don't have AMC Plus. Right. You know, a couple of people who are really into Walking Dead, but uh, <laughs> right. AMC Plus is just not what HBO Max is. That's just being truthful. You know, hopefully they'll invest in it. I do look forward to uh, the fact is that 
Sherman Showcase does start streaming on Hulu, usually 90 days after the season's done airing. That's good. On IFC. So more people know what Hulu is. Yeah, oh, for sure. And especially now that Hulu's being sort of rolled into Disney+, Plus, I think pretty soon you'll be able to watch uh, Sherman Showcase either on Hulu or Disney+. Plus. Hey, man, that's that's what's happening because that's what I was wondering, like, you know, platform versus, like, critics and, like, mm-hmm. accolades. Because mm-hmm. I feel like, um, I feel like Sherman Showcase get more of the accolades because people are forced to sit down and actually watch it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, Here's our screener, yeah. goddammit. it. A link. Yeah, exactly. Right. They, they send them a link. And, you know, the critics at the New York Times, the Washington Post. So, by the way, thank you to those people because they use their platform to promote a show that I have a lot. Not just creative interest in, but, like, you know, I got family. You know, my wife is the choreographer. My nephew is the animator. You know, uh, Bashir's sister is, like... The you know damn near the the biggest breakout singer from the TV show like I put a lot of effort into that show and so when these critics want to show it love I love him I love them for it you know I always say that that show Sherman Showcase should have a lot more cultural impact than it does except that it's on IFC which is not traditionally done you know shows for our community right you know a lot right. of a lot of black people don't even know. I used to joke that ISC stood for it's fucking Caucasian <laughs> right <laughs> you know right. um <laughs> it's true. or or nowadays because it's like well it's going to air on ISC but then a week before that it's going to be on AMC plus and then 90 days from now it's going to be on Hulu I'm like now it stands for it's fucking complicated <laughs> right right, <laughs> you right, know right. like I feel like I got to educate people on their devices just for them to find it so yeah, it gets a lot of love from people who actually see it, but the but the challenge is to get people to watch it. What's your what's your work hours like? You know, because Man. because I can only imagine. And then that balancing of family at so the same time. My youngest tends to wake up around six six fifteen, so I wake up with him. You know, he's five now, so I wake up around six six fifteen, and you know, I power through till about like seven. Mm-hmm. You know, doing all the work stuff, and then I try and just chill out on the couch and try and watch what my kids are watching. By the way, my kids. If there any indication, like I don't know what's happening in the entertainment industry, I don't, I don't know where we're headed. They watch so many like YouTube videos yeah. by people just reacting to some stuff they saw on other YouTube videos. Yeah. Like I, I told them like two weeks ago, I was like, "Can y'all watch something with a script? Do y'all <laughs> do y'all know how Dad actually earns his living? Like I write things, and care. y'all are watching people in headphones like we are now, I guess." Uh, just just reacting to well, video games you, and stuff. You know what's so funny? I, my, my daughter, I have a nine-year-old, and she loves watching people play like um, Fortnite and, mm-hmm. and all these other mm-hmm. type, of, type of shows. Roblox. Like, Roblox. Yep. That's, what, that's, that's a new thing, Roblox. That's yeah. what, I just gave her a, a Microsoft Surface tablet specifically so she could play Roblox on it, right? And then I realized, I said, that's their podcast. It like, really is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So she likes hearing people talk about these games and stuff like right. that, and that's like yep. how I kind of put it into my brain, like, I heard somebody make a joke. They, they were like, a parent was like, how are you going to sit here and watch other people play video games? <laughs> right. And the kids were like, why do you watch TV shows where other people buy houses? Right. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet.